Good morning and how are you doing today? I hope you're having a brilliant day. Today is my last day in Prague. I'm moving countries. I'm leaving Prague and I'm taking the train to Vienna in Austria. Let's hope I packed everything properly last night. I was a bit tired when I got in. I spent far longer than I anticipated enjoying the beautiful night lights of Prague. Not the nightlife, the night lights. When the, um, after dusk, the, all the buildings are so beautifully lit up. It was wonderful to walk around. And there's so many, you just keep wandering and wandering and filming. But I did eventually get home and made myself pack last night. I always say pack the night before, so that the next day you haven't got to worry about that. I'm just worried now that I haven't packed properly. Anyway, that aside, lovely cozy night, nice quiet place again. Struggled to get out from under the covers this morning. It's chilly out there and it was nice and cozy in bed, but I've got a train to catch. Determined to get my breakfast. I've got my fruit and yogurt. Gonna make myself a coffee. Then I've got to grab the bags. I've got about a 10 minute walk to the metro. Then I'm going to catch the metro. I've got one change. And then I'll get to the railway station. And then it's on to Vienna. Well, I had to hustle a little bit to catch this train on time. I didn't really leave enough time. And it didn't help that I got lost trying to escape from the museum metro. Did find my way out, got to the station, and now made it to the train. I had to run though. And here I am. Now, I've taken the Reggio jet train and I'm in business class and it is very nice. It's a four and a half hour journey so the extra bit of space and luxuries is nice. You get a free water when you arrive. You get tea, also included I think. Each seat has its own PowerPoint. It's a two pin, typical European style PowerPoint. There is Wi-Fi on the train and it works. And as a bonus, I've got a window seat with a table and quite a bit of space around me. So now all I've got to do is sit back, admire the scenery, and enjoy the journey until I get to Vienna.
Now that was an easy and pleasant journey from Prague here, four and a half hours, zip through, comfortable seats and beautiful scenery as we pass by. Now I'm in Vienna, it feels a lot colder here, maybe it's just the station, but now I'm here, I've got to get to my accommodation. For that, I'm going to take the U-Bahn or the underground, so I just have to find my way out of the railway station, find the U-Bahn station, should be close by, buy a ticket, get on the right train, go in the right direction, get off at the right place, and then find my accommodation. made it to a Schweidenplatz on the U-Bahn, that was very easy. Now I've got to get out of the U-Bahn, follow the map to my accommodation. Here we are at my accommodation. Now Vienna is a reasonably expensive city. It is one of the cities with the highest standard of living in the world. And so accommodation is also pricey, but I wanted to stay fairly near the center so I didn't have to go backwards and forwards. So I am staying here and I don't even have an apartment I just have a room and I have to share a bathroom a toilet a kitchen and all the other facilities but let me take you in and show you what you get for your money in Vienna it's a beautiful old building So there you have it. That is what 77 euros a night will get you in central Vienna. <laughs> it's expensive what it is, hey? But it's nice and central, and I hopefully won't be spending too much time here in the accommodation. Like now, I'm gonna unpack. Okay, maybe I'll uh, get a couple of things out, change some clothes, and then let's go and have a quick peek at Vienna. <laughs> 